Okay, so in my previous uh, video on thread cutting, uh, I had used this um, thread indicator as a guide to have set the angle of the offset of the top slide for when uh, advancing the thread into the job. And uh, the idea was that it was going to be, it's uh, because this is a uh, 55 degree Whitworth, half of that is 27 and a half degrees. And uh, well, basically I'd miscalculated by thinking that actually that would set that, that, that correctly. But actually it was, um, well, seven and a half degrees out. Not that it actually made too much difference on the advance of the thread because on the final cut, it cleaned up anything that would have been left behind in, in the right hand side of the thread due to the slightly inaccurate advancement uh, when, when adding the depth. So uh, I've made this little short video just to just to show you a, a much easier method actually which I've discovered since of uh, setting that up correctly to the 27 and a half degrees. Well the angle of the Whitworth angle is 55 degrees inclusive angle there so obviously half of that is going to be half of 55 which is 27 and a half degrees so the angle we need to set our um, top slide up at is a 27 and a half degrees angle from the 90 degree angle from the workpiece so essentially um, it needs to be that 50 percent that half halfway point of the angle which is there 27 and a half degrees there yeah quite obvious when you think about it all you want to do is advance in that direction with the uh, top slide so the uh, the easiest method I found of course is to buy yourself a one of these protractors okay so if you imagine the best way to work out this angle that you want to set you have your workpiece across there you have your tool which in our case is 55 degrees so then you have 90 degrees through that there which means that angle there will be uh, half of the 55 degrees so 27 and a half degrees okay so that there is 27.5 now if we then um, draw a right angle here we know obviously that's 90 degrees and so then we need to calculate uh, what's left of the uh, what the actual angle is that we need to set up uh, on the uh, cross slide so 90 plus 27.5 is 117.5 degrees and of course you want to minus that from 180 which is uh, the three three sides of your triangle and that will give you an angle of 62.5 degrees okay so that's enough of the maths so all you need to do then is set your protractor to 62.5 degrees I don't know whether you can see that it's not the highest quality um, protractor that you can get but for this instance it works quite well and there's also a way of double checking this as well which I'll show you in a minute so um, 62.5 degrees and then we can if I just lift the camera up over the top and then you can see that I'll try again that's better so if you set that front edge in a line with across the protractor nice in the line there and you can just pinch that bolt up okay so that now has set uh, this, the, so now a way of checking this is uh, if you use a length of um, what have I got lying around a bit of hexagon bar and the only reason I'm using a hexagon bar is so that I've got a, a flat that I can use my square against okay so um, that's now obviously now 90 degrees to the uh, workpiece and then if we wind in the top slide bring that across you can now see or at least I hope you'll be able to see that now that is that lines up with the with the shape of the cutter with the angle of the cutter 
to tilt that down a bit. Mind you, that will offset it. But basically, that that edge is uh, I've squared that up by the way to the to the front. So that is at perfectly 90 degrees to the front of the face of that. So obviously, it's uh, it's lining up properly. And as you can see, that now lines up nicely, much more accurately than uh, when I was trying to do. Um, trying to use the front of the uh, top slide so that that is basically it and then of course what you do you know you bounce your tool in so that it's square and then any advance on the uh, let's pull that back a bit any advance then on the uh, cross slide will always be advancing you know in the in the same angle as the as the cutting tool as it goes into the job so uh, I apologize for the wrong information which I first put up in my previous video but hopefully that will uh, will set a few minds at rest of people who are asking me how I did that and why they couldn't seem to replicate it but of course the reason was I made an error okay thank you for watching see you again soon okay just to uh, clarify what I put in the video uh, I'll just put some of it down on paper uh, if you imagine this is your uh, chuck of your lathe and so your axis uh, running through the bed of the lathe is obviously the line that you, the axis you're going to be cutting on and uh, when, when we look at our uh, the shape of our cutter obviously in this case I'm doing a Whitworth which is a 55 degree uh, angle in there and we're looking for the half point of that so it's 27.5 oops 0.5 degrees okay so we want to set our um, top slide at 27 and a half degrees so if you imagine you've got your uh, top slide in there and it's set on top of your cross slide like so oops not a very good drawing so the angle we're looking for now is obviously that's 90 degrees uh, parallel to the uh, to the job perpendicular to the job and we want to get a 27 and a half degree line along there so that this is set up along that 27 and a half degrees well what I did try with my protractor was first of all measure putting 27 and a half degrees along there and that was wrong as well so it kind of drove me a bit nuts so basically what we needed to work out we know that this point here is 27.5 or at least that's what we want to achieve and of course we know that that there is 90 degrees yeah okay so it's uh, 27 plus 90 90 degrees gives us 117.5 degrees and if we take uh, 180 degrees from that which will give us this angle now 180 degrees that will equal 62.5 degrees okay so the, our mystery angle which was this one here is 62.5 now if you set your protractor for 62.5 you will find that the, that is the angle you should want to be taking from along there to along there and this information again is uh you can also find it in the uh, Amateur's Lathe by L. H. Sperry on page uh, 156. So all the information in there about setting over the top slide and there's a nice diagram there uh, which, which basically shows you what I've just tried to draw in uh, slightly simpler terms. It doesn't show you how to sort of calculate the, the other angle that I showed you but if you now you know how to do that you can work that out for yourself. And also uh, if you don't have that book you may have the uh, Myford Super 7 series manual and that is also some information on that on page where are we? Uh, page 106 uh, which also shows you uh, a very similar diagram there which uh, allows you to work that out of the angle that you need as well again there that they're using the Whitworth 27 and a half degrees so uh, good luck with that thank you